Hi guys, so here's a video that I'm going to show you of how I get ready for a night out. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And I love this bottle, it's the old one, and our shoes to get the new one, so I'm trying to hold out on this as long as I can. Okay, so you're going to rub the product all the way in and just make sure it's blended because sometimes it can leave somewhat of a light residue. And I just put it underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use this palette that I ordered offline off eBay. And there's this really shimmery peachy color. It's kind of almost a champagne. And I'm going to actually use a small e.l.f. concealer brush to pat it on my eyes. Because the glitter is kind of, it's a bit medium sized. So you need a pretty dense brush to really put it all over your lids. And I'm just focusing on my, lid, my lids and a little bit above them. So just make sure it's well blended on your eyelids. Now I'm going to use this brown color. It's a light brown. But wait, I have an idea. Take some tape and kind of just put it on the side of your hands just to take some of the adhesive off and then just apply it on the sides of your eyes so I can have a really nice sharp crease cut. And I'm going to take a blending brush. Well, actually I'm going to adjust it right here. <laughs> but then I'm going to take my blending brush and apply that on kind of Swiss chocolate as brown color all over my lids and I'm just going to blend it a little bit with some of that peachy color that I blended upwards and then I'm taking my um, Beijing palette from Coastal Scents and I'm using this uh, deep purple color and um, I'm t using a, a medium sized smudger brush and I'm just going to create somewhat of a V in my inner corners well those are my inner corners my outer corners and try to get as much product as you can on the brush and blend it very well. And then take a denser blending brush and kind of just blend it out so it kind of creates an ombre effect from your lid to your brown color. You put it all over your crease. And blend, blend, blend. And now I'm just going to take a little bit more of that champagne color and um, apply it on the top of my lids just to make sure the color pops and stands out a little bit more. So now I'm going to take a lighter peachy color and put it in my inner tear ducts. And I'm just doing this so it'll brighten my eyes up just a bit because the colors, they're not as dark, but I just need something to give my eyes a pop of color. And then I'm going to take that deep purple color and put it underneath my eyes. and try to blend that as close to your waterline as you can handle and sometimes it will be a little bit powdery but if you use a nice smolder brush the consistency would stay a little bit denser and then I'm going to take the color that I applied on my lids and put it midway underneath my eyes just so it'll blend with the lighter color I put in my inner tear ducts and now I'm going to remove my tape and you see how of an intense cut it gives you so then, you know you can go with this or if you want to blend it out to give it a softer look do so and I prefer that look just to make it look a little bit more natural and I'm going to take my um, eyebrow kit and I use else well actually right here I'm using um, max eyebrow pencil and spiked and I'm just creating somewhat of a thin line underneath my eyebrows my eyebrows are pretty thick so I don't fill them in as much and now I'm just using the brush and going in lightly and I'm going to take a spoolie and I'm going to kind of apply a little bit of pressure when I blend out my eyebrows just to make sure all the color that I applied blends well. And I'm taking um, some concealer from this e.l.f. quad that I use in medium. And I'm just going to outline my eyebrows just to give it a nice clean defined look. And then I just blend into the top with my fingers and I use this square shaped um, kind of a concealer brush to really create a nice crease line so my eyebrows will look very defined and I just use my finger to blend and I use that second color it's fairly light and then just blend out with your spoolie and I used to just take the other brush just to blend all that stuff out because I usually I do my eyebrows first and now I'm taking this big Milani blush called Rose Dior and I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I already have a bit of bronzer on, so I'm just going to kind of feed that into the bronzer. And I love this blush. It gives you a nice glow. It's very natural looking. and has a little bit of shimmer, so when the light hits it, it's perfect. <clears throat> 
And now I'm taking an e.l.f. fan brush and using Max um, Soft and Gentle Highlighter. And I'm just putting it on my T-zone and on my cheeks just to give me some glow. And I'm using a lot of product because I'm going out and I really want to be shimmery. And I use a flat kabuki brush just to blend that out. And now I'm matting off any excess like lip product that I have on my lips. And I'm using Max Current. No, I think that's Max. Yeah, it's Max Night Moth um, lip liner, and I'm just going to line my lips very nicely because I really want to create somewhat of a darker look with this. And now I'm gonna apply a Max Rebel lipstick. Love, love, love this color for winter and fall. It's so nice that you can play up with it to make it darker, lighter. So I'm just gonna fill that into my lips and kind of just blend it out so the Night Muff lip liner won't look as intense. Love it, and I'm just gonna use some more um, lip liner just to make sure my Cupid's bow is defined. Alrighty, so this really completes the look, but I applied some eyeliner and lashes off camera, so here's the finished look, and also check out my next video. It's my October favorite, so you can see everything I love for the month of October.